Howdy folks, welcome back to another video. It's time for <gasps> Scroller Box, well Blurry Box, Scroller Box, yay! So as you know, I'm running a little bit behind on these. This is the December box. So let's open it up and see what's inside. Everything's always wrapped in this beautiful tissue paper and I always have a fight with this sticker to see if I can open it without wrapping the tissue paper. And no, no, I can't. But it's tradition, I have to try. <laughs> so if you don't know what Scrawler Box is, they are a monthly art subscription box and they send you a bunch of art goodies and a challenge to make stuff with every month. Including a Scrawler Box sticker and a menu of the art supplies, but I don't look. Uh, this is a suite of some kind. And six fine art pencils by DeWent. We've had a box like this before, but not with metallic ones in, so this could be interesting. A nice uh, rose gold metal ruler. And these Faber-Castell metallic pens. I don't know if they're felt tips or paint pens, but I guess we'll find out together. This sheet of, uh, sorry, pad of cardstock that is black. Um, there's eight sheets in there, so... Should be fun. And the artist print of the month. They always include one of these. Whoops, upside down. Uh, it is Mirella Duta. I hope I pronounced that right. And if you want to follow them online, here are their socials. So there is a challenge every month, and this month it is squared away. Okay. Uh, squared. I suppose that explains the ruler. <laughs> so. I'm just going to stop here because I have been trying to open this packet for a while and I can't be the only person that this happens to. So, th these silly little blister packs, I'm always left uh, just peeling off bits. No lie, I struggled with this for like a minute, so I sped it up for you. But seriously, I cannot be the only one who struggles with these blister packs. Can we just, can we just stop sending these, please? Um, now I'm a little bit calmer. It's time to actually do some artwork. <clears throat> well, I thought about this challenge for a little while and couldn't get um, Matt Dixon's robots out of my head. <laughs> so if you don't know who Matt Dixon is, he's one of my favourite artists and he does a robot calendar and has done for the past couple of years. And there was um, one of his robots where he is sat in a cardboard box like this. And I thought squared away, put in a box, yeah, why not? So that's what I went with initially, and I really dislike drawing straight edges. I never use a ruler, um, but I, th I felt compelled to because it was in the box. And yeah, it, it turned out okay, actually. Excuse my head, just popping into frame. That's because I was concentrating so hard on using the ruler, you see. <laughs> but I thought that I would outline it with uh, the two different coloured metallic pens. So I thought to try and give it some presents, I'd do the robot in the gold and everything else in the silver. I probably should have done this the other way around because as soon as I start using the silver, I realise woof, that, that's a lot brighter than the gold. So yeah, um, mistakes were made. But I actually really did like the drawing of this. Um, when it comes to the colouring, no, no, didn't like it. But you know, the drawing itself, I thought was quite cute, this little robot packed away in a garage amongst all the other boxes and shelves of abandoned paint cans and a toolbox which looks like it has a smiley face yeah um but yeah i i quite liked the the drawing as i say but i have this problem with metallic art supplies and i don't know if i'm the only one the shine really is quite off-putting is the only way i can think to describe it I mean, it might be because I've got these ridiculous lights set up, so everything's super reflective. And the more pigment you try and put down, the more it just kind of disappears and everything starts to look white. And I've had this before because I've tried like painting with metallic paints and stuff like that, but I don't know. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of metallic art supplies, I don't think. I think they have a place for accent colours. I think that's fine, but when you're trying to do a whole illustration with them, Mm, difficult very difficult let me know in the comments if uh, if you're the same as me if you struggle with art supplies like this and if you struggle with blister packs because I'm still not over that 
But yeah, I was trying desperately to get some of the pigment down, but like I say, it, it seemed like the harder I pressed, the more it just turned to white. So I soldiered on through this image, slowly falling out of love with it, to be honest. Um, but I still, I still did like the initial sketch. <laughs> And I quite like the concept, although the, the theme squared away, away really, I find that difficult this month. Um, well, I suppose in December's month, but I only did it recently. But yeah, it was a, it was an odd challenge name. But you can see here with me adding more of the, the pencil pigment down, it's just getting whiter. And it wasn't the effect I was going for. So I just found myself thinking, do you know what? Just finish the picture and then it'll be over with. And this was another one of those scroller boxes, a bit like the July one where I had to come back to it because I wasn't happy with the piece that I finished. Again, like I said before, I, I quite liked the concept and the sketch, but the final image, I don't know, wasn't, it wasn't what I wanted it to be. But this is what, where I left it anyway. And um, as you can see, it, there are bits of the colour, but they're really hard to see. The green shows up quite well. Some of the colours do all right. But I decided I wasn't really a fan. So a few days later, I tore out the piece of paper, turned it around and um, started to draw a bit of a guilty pleasure sketch on the other side. Because I thought, you know, I want to do something that I enjoy with these art supplies. Even if they're not my favourite, I'm sure I can do something that I would enjoy. So I was thinking about metallics and like the colours that we'd got and I sort of thought that pearlescent shimmer, unicorn maybe. So I rolled with it. I know it's not squared away, but you know, I, I do throw a square in the background. So maybe it's being put away in that square. Who knows? <laughs> um, but yeah, this, this was a bit of a guilty pleasure sketch. I love drawing animals. Um, fantasy creatures, dragons, unicorns, that sort of thing. So, yeah, I, I much more enjoyed this and it was just so much more relaxing than trying to think about inorganic shapes and things like that, which I think I forced a lot in that first one with the robot and the boxes and, you know, being in a square room and all this sort of stuff. I was like, no, do you know what? Unicorn, fine, happy with that. So, Learning from the mistakes that I made in the first one, I used the silver marker to do the outline. And that was, as you can see, it's a lot more dramatic on the black, which I really liked. And then I used the gold to draw the square in the background, add a little bit of an accent to the horn and the eyes. Oh, and this is my uh, kneaded eraser that came in a previous scroll box. It just lives on my desk now. <laughs> So I tried to thicken up the line width a little bit, but again, it always throws me working on black paper because your line width normally is kind of like your shadow lines, but then when you add it in a lighter color, it doesn't feel like a shadow line anymore. Anyway, then I decided to use some of the colors where the pigment showed through um, in the main. So I think I used the pink, green, purple, and I think there was a blue. We'll find out. Uh, just because those metallic colours, although, you know, shiny and metallic and still very light and shimmery, the colour actually showed out best in those. As you can see here. Mm -hmm. So I didn't want to go overboard with these because I didn't want the whole horse to just look, you know, white again. So I did a little bit of highlight shading highlight shading yeah uh, and then went back in with the i keep calling them paint pens because they feel like they're paint pens but they're not i don't think well they didn't require pumping anyway and i decided that i wanted to color in the horn gold <laughs> entirely and that square in the background too why not so i did enjoy this a lot more than the robot image just because i kind of knew when to stop at this stage i'd experimented with them before signing my name and that was it this whole image took me about 15 20 minutes maybe and i'm so much happier with it than the other one um which you can you can see on the flip side but yeah heads up the paper is great you know nothing's come through um and i put in a lot of marker on this unicorn 
But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, then please give me a, a thumbs up and um, let me know in the comments below if you've used metallic art supplies and whether you have as much trouble with them as I do. <laughs> but until next time, guys, that's all for now. Bye for now. Rubber. Unicorn.